No matter where we are, our strength endures. No matter how much of the forest you burn, no matter how many ruins you crumble, the earth will not lose. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we are going to examine the modern day leader of the Shandian tribe, Wiper. Wiper is a tall and rather serious looking Shandian tribesman living in the realm of Skypea. He is the direct descendant of Kalgara, a figure we have previously covered, and exists in the current timeline some 400 years after the death of Kalgara. And just like his ancestor, Wiper is very quick in resorting to violence, extremely distrustful of outsiders, and in general, he can be quite irrational. These traits have earned him the epithet of Berserker, although with all of that said, Wiper shows great love and pride for his homeland, as well as an incredible amount of respect for his ancestors, and even Noland, another figure who we've already covered. In fact, Wiper is one of the very few people in the world who actually knows the truth of what happened between Noland and Kalgara via a tale that has been passed down down through the Shandian tribe ever since the death of Wiper's warrior ancestor. As a child, Wiper and his contemporaries were also told the greater history of the Shandian tribe, whereby 800 years ago they were entrusted to protect an ancient text known as a Poneglyph. These stories greatly inspired and motivated Wiper, who very quickly came to rise amongst the ranks of the Shandian warriors, eventually becoming their leader. Six years prior to the current storyline, Wiper was visited by Garn Fall, who was the then god of Skypea and wished to form a truce between the Skypeans and the Shandian people. However, Wiper refused this request due to the fact that Garnfall was unable to provide the Shandians with everything that had been stolen from them since their island was launched into the sky. He then proceeded to start a conflict with Garnfall's men. Wiper and his tribesmen continued to struggle against the Skypeans to reclaim their home, even after Garnfall was overthrown and the new god Enel took power. And that is where we come in. Wiper's first introduction into the series came shortly after the Straw Hats arrived at at Skypea, having travelled on the knockup stream. Wiper was actually the very first guy being encountered by the Straw Hats, and Wiper pretty much immediately tried to kill them, however he was stopped by Garn Fall who came to the aid of the Straw Hats. Wiper then moved to the outskirts of Upper Yard and began a conflict with Enel's priests. So just like his ancestor, Wiper is incredibly strong, shown to be at least an equal to both Luffy and Zoro during the Skypea arc. His weapon of choice is typically a burn bazooka, a type of handheld cannon equipped with a breath dial. Although Wiper has been shown to wield other dials as well, in particular the reject dial, which is capable of inflicting huge amounts of damage, however it comes at the cost of physical repercussions to those using it. Despite his strength, Wiper was forced to order a retreat once NL used his incredible devil fruit power to strike one of Wiper's men. After returning to the village, Wiper would be informed by Isa that two voices had disappeared in Upper Yard. One of those voices was Garn Fall, and the other one was one of NL's priests, Satori, who had been defeated by Luffy, Sanji, and Usopp. Wiper saw the defeat of Satori as an opportunity to strike while NL's forces were weak, and the entirety of the Shandian warriors commenced an attack on Upper Yard. However, eventually Wiper and the rest of his forces would be caught up in NL's death game. During this time, Wiper encountered one of NL's priests, Shura, and defeated him with the use of the reject dial. Wiper also engaged in brief conflicts with Luffy and Zoro prior to reaching the final stages of NL's game. Eventually, Wiper teamed up with Zoro, Robin, and Garn Fall to attack NL, and while they all failed, Wiper became the first person to actually deal damage to NL by using a combination of the Reject Dial and Sea Stone, which nullified NL's Logia powers. In fact, NL may have died right then and there if not for the fact that his completely OP Devil Fruit gave him the ability to restart his own heart. Wiper was also the only person other than Zoro who was able to withstand two back-to-back -back attacks from NL, further speaking to his pure strength and determination. Unfortunately, this would be the end of Wiper's campaign though as he was left powerless to do anything while he watched NL commence the destruction of Skypea. Wiper's last great action in this conflict was to use the reject dial to destroy part of Giant Jack, allowing Luffy and Nami to use it as a ramp to get to NL. And after learning that Luffy's desire was to ring the bell of Shandora, a highly emotionally charged Wiper cheered Luffy on. Luffy proceeded to defeat NL and ring the golden bell of Shandora for the first time in 400 years. After NL's defeat, Wiper's injuries were treated by Chopper, and once recovered, he joined the victory party. Wiper and the Shandians then retrieved the Golden Bell and the Poneglyph stored within it. After translating it, Robin informed the Shandians that their 800 year old duty was officially complete. The Skypeans and the Shandians then settled the lands of Upper Yard together, and Wiper even went on to become the head guard for Garn Fall, 
who was encouraged to resume his position as god. Wiper and his fellow warriors also made a pledge to Kalgara that they would never again let the light of Shandora be extinguished. Some more fun facts about Wiper. After Enel's defeat, Wiper's attitude towards outsiders has changed significantly, to the point where he even hopes that one day the Straw Hats will return to Skypea. After the time skip, Wiper no longer wears his braid and now sports a luscious head of hair. And finally, a truly useless fact. When Oda was asked if Wiper wears anything under his grass skirt, he jokingly stated that he believes that Wiper hangs all out. So it's pretty much confirmed, Wiper is a free baller. And that pretty much does it for Wiper. However, there is still one more video to go in this unique 101 series to wrap up the story, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe, and please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.